Hey guys, I've got a good old fashioned haul for you today. I am working with Farfetch because Farfetch now has a beauty section. So I wanted to place an order on Farfetch, kind of share with you my experience uh, shopping on the site and show you what I picked out. Uh, so just to let you know, it took my order, I would say, let me think, um, five business days to get to me because it shipped UPS ground from the East Coast and I'm basically on the West Coast. So I ordered it on a Tuesday and I got it the next Monday. Here is the box that it came in. I already opened it up. It's one of those easy zip boxes, which is awesome. I love those. And then everything was packed nicely in these uh, recyclable paper like worms. And the box has a little fry fetch in there, which is really nice. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with Farfetch, but they, um, you know, they have clothing, handbags, shoes, all of that. But this is their first foray into beauty. And they also look like they're uh, like working with or partnering with Violet Gray. But I have noticed that there are more brands on Farfetch than there are on Violet Gray. So I kind of picked like a smattering of a few different things. So let me get everything out of this box and I'll share with you what I ordered. The first thing I got, and I was so excited to see this on the Farfetch site, is one of the new off-white perfumes. So I believe there's four altogether and they're numbered like one, two, three, and four. So I got solution number two and it is described to be citrusy. So I was really excited. You guys know how much I love citrus fragrance. So here's the box for it, so cool. This is like a little sleeve that slides off and then the box comes off. Oh. <laughs> I love this packaging. This looks like, like a water hose gasket. So it says paperwork here, off-white paperwork, solution number two. All right, let's see what this smells like. Ooh, ooh. That's nice. It's really, really unisex. It's very crisp. It's not very sweet. It's not a sweet citrusy. You know, this reminds me of the Creed, Aventus for her. Not quite as strong, but it has that kind of citrus kind of like flavor to it. Ooh, wow, I'm gonna love this. So this is 100 mils, 3.3 fluid ounces, and it's an eau de parfum. Ooh. Awesome. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I was really having a hard time deciding between the four, one, two, three, and four. And I just went with two. It was the safest one, but I knew I was gonna like it. So that's awesome. I'm so happy with that. And then I got a couple things from Clay de Poe. I love, love, love their cotton pads because there's some silk in there. And so they are really, really just so smooth. They just glide right across your face. They have a really nice size to them. You can definitely, I know people, some people cut them in half. I'm too lazy, but I definitely only need one when I use one of these pads. So I was trying to figure out um, like the percentage between cotton and silk in these cotton, pa cotton pads. It just says on the back, incredibly soft and smooth to the touch. These luxurious sheets are woven with Clay de Peau Beauté's highest quality natural silk and finest fibers from rare premium cotton. So it has both for sure, but that little bit of silk in here, woo, it definitely makes a difference. Let me actually show you the size of one of these. So they are pretty large. They're like a little bit bigger than the Shiseido ones, which are so popular. These are like a little bit more um, square. So they're like a little bit taller than the Shiseido. And those I think are pretty large as well, but these are, Mm, these are so scrumptious, so I thought I would spoil myself and get a box of these. And then I did also pick up, now you guys have been hearing me talk about this for a long time, but I love, love, love the Clay de Peau cream blushes. In fact, I think I have them all out here. So I have two, three, and four. These are the three shades I have. There's only four shades in this line, and I'm like, why don't I have the fourth one? So I went ahead and I purchased number one, which is the last shade that I need to complete my Clay de Peau cream blush collection. So this one is, like I said, number one, and it is the most um, like red in tone. So you can see here, we've got like pink, peach, and then a neutral, actually you can't see, hold on. We have like a pink, a peach, and then like a neutral toned one. So this is a perfect addition. I think they may call this one cranberry, I'm not sure, but it has that kind of red tint to it. And I didn't put blush on for a reason because I wanted to try out this cream blush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dip my finger in. 
and just press on. Oh, these blushes are so, so easy to use. I love them. And they all have a really subtle, beautiful satin sheen, which is so gorgeous. And this formula is the best. It is the best. There, so there is number one on. I love it. What a beautiful, beautiful flush. Mm. So those are the couple of Clay de Peau products that I picked up. I also wanted to pick up a couple of things from Surratt. Surratt is one of my all-time favorite uh, beauty brands. And I have a huge collection of his artistic blushes. So these are all the artistic blushes that I have. Uh, and I still don't have all of them. So I decided to pick up one to kind of continue down my Surratt artistic blush collection here. Oh, this one is, I am gonna slaughter this name, Pon, Pon, Ponsu? Ponsu. <laughs> there it is on the back, P-O-N-C-E-A-U. And look, oh, look at this gorgeous color. Look at that, oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. It's like an electric coral. Oh, it's so beautiful and it's so perfect for this season. I'm so glad I picked this up and I'm wondering why I don't already have this in my collection. Well, I'm glad I picked it up. Let me do a swatch of it for you. There it is swatched. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? So I'm glad I picked that up. And then the second thing that I purchased from Surratt is one of his lip slicks. Now I had like almost all of these shades, but I ended up decluttering them because they were very, very old. They actually still, they smelled okay and they performed okay, but they were just old, like flat out old, like five, six years old. So I decided to pick up Club Sept, which is I think the first shade that I got from this line and I just had to get it again. It's a very chocolatey nude shade. So this is what the packaging looks like. And this is Club Sept. I love these lip slicks. There is Club Sept. These lip slicks are, they're so creamy and moisturizing, but they leave this beautiful, like kind of glossy finish to your lips. They're very similar to the Rouge Coco Flash from Chanel. They're also very similar to like the Chantecaille Lip Veils. They're just absolutely stunning. I do have some lipstick down, but I'm just gonna apply this over. But do you see that kind of like glossy, like subtle, satiny, glossy finish? Mm, so incredible. So I'm so glad I picked that up again. I really, really have been missing these Surratt lip slicks. Um, so that's what I got from Surratt. And then I did pick up some hair products here. I have been very, very intrigued by these hair products ever since I saw them pop up. I, I can't remember where, but uh, Sam McKnight, who is a very, very famous celebrity hairstylist. I believe he was Princess Di's hairstylist. Um, he came out with his own hairline. So I got the Texture Spray and the Multitask Styling Mist. Uh, let's open these up. I don't know, I can't really show you, <laughs> show you much of these or demo these really for you, but here is the bottle. So this is the Easy Updo Texture Spray. And it says, use fewer hairpins and get grip that won't slip for secure hold on chignons, ponytails, braids, top knots, and other updos. So shake well, spray through dry hair to texture and volume before styling. Should we see what it smells like? It has a little bit of a fragrance, but very, very light. Um, so that is the easy updo. And then this is the multitask styling mist. This is the one in the olive green bottle. These bottles are really cool. They have like a matte finish. And this is straighten, volumize, texturize, and set. Hold hair where you want it, then brushes out with ease. Doesn't really smell like much. Huh, interesting. Okay. So those are the two products I got from Hair by Sam McKnight. Really have been dying to try these products like for years now. <laughs> and then last but not least, um, you guys know I'm a huge fan of Suzanne Kaufman's. I have a lot of her bath uh, products a lot of her body products. Um, I just started using some face products. I got like an eye roller ball, which is very nice. Anyway, I saw that she had a hand soap. I needed a hand soap, so I thought I would go ahead and pick this up. She has very minimal, minimal like packaging labeling, I should say, and it really, really appeals to me. So here is the hand soap. 
another product I don't think I can really demo for you, but let's see what it smells like. I do love the scents of all of her products too. They're just so fresh. Mm, this is no different. This is actually a little bit warmer than a lot of her other, uh, her other fragrances that she uses. Very subtle. Ooh, that's very nice. I'm not sure what this is. I don't know if this was just part of the packaging or if this serves some sort of purpose. Let's see. So it combines gentle cleansing with nourishing and moisturizing ingredients, valuable wheat germ oil, aloe vera, and active ingredients derived from the horsetail plant. Pamper the severely stressed skin of the hands. Pleasantly fresh aroma. Because of its natural ingredients, it may become slightly cloudy. Good to know. Doesn't say anything about this this little guy. So I'm gonna assume that it was just for like packaging or whatever. So that is my little haul from Farfetch. A big thank you to Farfetch for working with me on this video and definitely check them out. I do have a coupon code that'll be listed down below in the description box. I'll also flash it up here on the screen as well, um, but that will give you 10% off of your order and that's it. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.